revisit the encounter. Mm -hmm. What do I mean by that? The scripture says we have overcome by the blood of the Lamb. Yes, yes. And the word of our testimony. Amen. There is power in our testimony. Stand by program. Cameras rolling. Faded audio. I serve the God of miracles. We want to welcome you to Behind the Signs, where you will hear the untold stories of the harvest. I'm so blessed. I'm so honored today to have with us our global director, our very own Scott Bodker. Thank you so much for being with us here today. Oh, it's an honor. It's always an honor to be with you, Mac. Amen. So, Amen. I'll go with you anywhere, bro. Oh, <laughs> I appreciate you. See, the fact people don't know this, but you and I, we grew up in different states different people but yet same our story culture. is the same, same culture, culture same culture and it's like god brought us together with a purpose and i remember the first gospel campaign that i was at you showed me the ropes you showed me what it was like to be part of a gospel campaign to be part of the prayer team talk to us a little bit about your experience See, now people don't know this you're leading shake the nation's ministers you are a global leader but yet you've done it all. How is your experience now as compared to how you were able to bring a prayer team and show them the way? Yeah, well, it's it's really neat. It works like that in the secular world as well. As a leader, it's always better if you've kind of grown up and through the ranks. So I don't know if you, I know you know this, but the viewers won't, but I was in finance for so many years before I came into full-time ministry. And when I became the best leader in the bank was after I spent time on a teller line, mm -hmm. spent time in a banker's office, spent time selling mortgages. So, you know, coming up through the ranks here at Shake the Nations and coming on as a office manager and then kind of working my way through and then obviously Evangelist Nathan coming to me this year asking me to kind of take the reins with him and alongside of him. Amen. It's a true honor and a blessing. But my favorite part of my job, man, is taking those teams and it kind of hurts because now I have to put, give someone else that opportunity, <laughs> give them that, the joy of doing yeah. that. But it's just so awesome to see see these people coming from church all around the world Amen. thinking that they're just coming to an experience, an event. Mm. And they actually have a move of God and they have an encounter with God where God actually uses them. Wow. And that's what we're all here for, that God might use us. Amen. And so, you know, it's, a, it's an honor and it's a great privilege to Amen. run with you. Amen. Uh, you know, I couldn't do my job without you. Uh, and now we've got some of your family on board, yes, and that's sir. an awesome thing. <laughs> and so I just can't wait for the nations to open up again. Amen. Where we can Amen. run with the gospel. And likewise, for us, it's an honor to work with you. We've learned so much from you. And one of the things that I've always heard you say is, I want them to have the same experience that I had because that forever changed me. And we have young people that are part of the staff right now that I believe once they actually go into that field, they'll have an encounter that will forever change their lives. We're gonna watch this highlight video from Belize, and let's talk a little bit about what people experience in this gospel campaign. Awesome. Seeing all the faces, different ages, respond to Jesus. He's moving in every heart right now. Just knowing that this small country is gonna be impacted by this event. This is the day of salvation. This is the day of salvation. And the call to salvation, the multitudes running to the altar. And from every row in the stadium, I see people coming to receive Christ. Jesus is waiting for you. Repeating after Nathan, just the prayer of salvation. Say it out loud. Jesus. Jesus. Wash me. Limpia me. In your precious blood. In tu preciosa sangre. Because God was just flowing. Yes, it was like one after another yeah. after another. Let me pause it for a second. I see that young couple. I know you know that young couple. Why do you think it's so important for, you said people sometimes go to these gospel campaigns thinking it's just an event, another church service, another gathering, but it's at a different level. Why is it important for a young generation to have an encounter with the Lord in this magnitude? Well, I had a wonderful man of God that really I grew up under. He said it like this, a man with an encounter is never at the mercy of a man with a doctrine. Wow. Say that one more time, please. That's so powerful. A man with an encounter is never at the mercy of a man with a doctrine. Wow. 
you're always going to meet someone that has more scripture memorized than you. You're always going to meet someone that has gone to uh, more degrees than you, certificates, been in ministry longer than you, but they don't have your encounter. Wow. And so a person, these young people, these couples, thinking about it, bro. Mm. That's what we're here for. Amen. The salvations, mm. to present the Lord with a harvest, but to place people to have an encounter with God. Wow. Because no matter what, no matter what life brings them, mm. they'll always have that encounter. Amen. That person that has every scripture memorized can't talk them out of it. Shh. And I can't wait to take some of the staff that's new, yes. that hasn't been on one yet. <laughs> yes. My son's here yes. doing his internship. As <laughs> soon as he's on, as soon as I know he's had an encounter, then I can trust that the Lord will Amen. always chase him down no matter how far he goes. That's right. That's right. You mentioned the word harvest. As you said that, that just rang in my spirit because we love evangelist Nathan Morris and we honor the man of God. But cameras don't really show what you do behind the scenes. But the truth is, in order to see a harvest, he can't do what he's called to do unless there is a Scott Bodker. Oh, listen. Talk to us no, about the team. The it's team. not me. He can't do it without the media guys. Amen. He can't do it without the ushers. That's he can't right. do it without the ladies that bring water. Amen. He can't do it with all the pastors that invite their people. He can't do it without all the people that are inviting those that are lost and mm -hmm. sick. That's right. So obviously Evangelist Nathan gets behind the pulpit, but he has an army of people behind him Amen. that believe in it. And if you're watching today and you're young and you're wanting to be a part of a ministry, think about this. God can't give you a vision unless you know what it is to serve another man's vision. Mm -hmm. And that's what we've done. And that's what I'm excited about. All these young guys that are a part of our staff. Yes. Hey, some of them will be pillars. I truly believe it. Mm -hmm. But some are here for a season to be sent. That's right. That's to right. do more than we can do. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, listen, just be encouraged. You know, God is always moving. God is always doing something. Amen. And he wants to do it through you. That's it. That's it. Let's continue with watching this highlight video because you said God is always moving. And we're going to see how God moved in Belize. Because a woman was bound for 16 years and couldn't walk. Nathan, this is Andrea Robinson. She's had problems in this left knee for 16 years. Look at that. Wow. Say hallelujah. Last night we got to pray for a woman who her sight was renewed and she was actually reading smaller print than she was able to read with her glasses. You could not do this before? No, Silente. Give Jesus one more shout! We see the move of God. We see what God does through the prayer team. And you've always said this, and I want you to just briefly talk about this. You've always said when we've had these meetings, now guys, understand, the enemy is gonna try to attack you. Afterwards, make sure you're prayed up, make sure you're seeking the Lord, because the enemy will try to rob that experience, that encounter. What can we do to avoid having the enemy rob that encounter that we had with the Lord? Revisit the encounter. Mm -hmm. What do I mean by that? The scripture says, we have overcome by the blood of the Lamb yes, yes. and the word of our testimony. Amen. There is power in our testimony. Yes, there There's is. There's power in the telling. Mm -hmm. There's power in it. Yes, there is. So we release the testimony and it allows it to live on. Amen. Not only the person that was healed, but we saw that man and that young boy. That reminds me of me and that could have been one of my sons. Mm -hmm. You know, Mark went with us, I believe, to El Salvador for the first time and loved it so much he brought his younger, I think he's 16 year old son with him. That boy has a testimony. Mm -hmm. He lay hands on that woman and she was healed. Wow, wow. He wasn't healed, Yeah. but God used him. Amen. So guess what? Whenever a sick person comes into that kid's way, mm -hmm. he is gonna have the boldness, but it's revisiting the encounter. Amen. It's allowing that testimony to always come forth. Amen. There's power in the tongue. Wow. As our global director has said today, there is power in the spoken testimony. Retell that story. Somebody needs to hear what God has done through your life. Listen, until next time, this has been Behind the Signs.
We want to thank you for watching. If you want to know more about Shake the Nations Ministries and our YouTube channel, why don't you click the subscribe button? Also, if you want notifications of our brand new videos, why don't you click the bell? There's so much more in Shake the Nations Ministries that you can get involved in. Why don't you click also the link to our website to find out more? To find out more about our humanitarian arm, Hope of All Nations, make sure you click the Hope of All Nations button where you can learn about us taking the gospel to thousands of children around the world and our work in the ground of the nation of Honduras. We can't wait to see you next time.